In this GIMP workshop tutorial we are going to make a greeting card. Go to File, click Open, search for the image of the typewriter and open it. We are going to make a Happy New Year card, but you can of course choose any type of card you like. Birthday, thank you, friendship, etc. as long as the text fits on the keyboard. In the toolbox we make the Ellipse Select tool active. Check the option Fixed and make sure you have the aspect ratio 1 to 1. In this way we can select a perfect circle shaped form. Now zoom in very far to the letter H. We can zoom in and out by holding the control key and then rolling the mouse wheel. Click and drag out a selection of the H key. We can click and drag the handles and or the corners to make corrections. And we can click and drag inside the selection to move the whole selection. When it looks ok, we click inside the selection to confirm. Go to Select, Feather and feather the selection with 5 pixels. Click OK. Back to the menu bar and now to edit. Here we click on Copy. Again to edit. And now we click on Paste. Click on the new layer button to change the floating layer into an actual layer. Double click on the name and rename it H. Hit the Enter key. Go to the toolbox and make the Move tool active. Check the option Move the active layer. Zoom out so we can see the letter R. Then click and drag the H letter over the letter R. Because we have to repeat the same actions multiple times, it works effective to make use of the shortcuts. So press the page down key on your keyboard to make the typewriter layer active. Note that on a standard Windows style English keyboard, the default shortcut page down doesn't refer to the key on the numeric keypad, but to the other page down key in the group of six keys to the left of the numeric keypad. Press the E key to make the ellipse select tool active again. Hold the mouse wheel down and move the mouse to move to the letter A. Or use the scroll bars to move the image. Zoom in again and make a selection of this letter. When this looks good we can click inside the selection to confirm it. And again we go to Select, Feather and we feather the selection with 5 pixels. Click OK. Press Ctrl C to make a copy and press Ctrl V to paste the copy. Hit Ctrl Shift N to change the floating layer into an actual layer. Double click on the name and rename it A. Hit Enter. Press the M key to make the Move tool active. Zoom out a bit and move the image in the image window so we can see the letter T. Click and drag the letter A over the letter T. And press the page down key to make the typewriter layer active again. Zoom in to the letter P. And press the E key for the ellipse select tool. Now make the selection. Then we go to select and feather the selection. Press Ctrl C, then Ctrl V, and finally Ctrl Shift N. Double click on the name and name this layer P. Hit Enter. Hit the M key and move the P over the Z. Now we need a second letter P. Press Ctrl Shift D to make a copy of the P layer. Click and drag it over the letter U. 
Press the Page Down key twice to make the typewriter layer active again. And then we can repeat the whole cycle. When we are at the letter Y, E and the letter A, we can make copies of those layers and just move them to their proper positions. Now we will go fast forward. Now we need the letter R, which is hidden, and place it over the letter L. Make the typewriter layer active again. Hold the Shift key and click on the eye to make all other layers invisible. Press the E key. And now we can make a selection of the R. Then we go to Select and Feather the Selection. Press Ctrl C, then Ctrl V, and then Ctrl Shift N. Double click on the name and rename it R. Hit Enter. Hit the M key and move the R over the L. Hold the Shift key again and click twice on the eye of the typewriter layer to make all layers visible again. When the text is done and to our liking, we make the typewriter layer invisible by clicking its eye. Then we can right click on a random layer and click on Merge Visible Layers. In the dialog box that pops up, we can just click Merge. Make the typewriter layer visible again, but make sure that the R layer stays active. We're going to color our text so it stands out on the keyboard. Go to Colors in the menu bar and then click on Colorize. Here we can choose any color we like. I've made the U 0, 0,07. Hit Enter and click OK. And with that we have made our own greeting card. I hope you have a good time with this tutorial. Please do not forget to like and comment. Thank you for watching.